Ah, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day on beautiful planet Earth. Life is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Today I'm doing the final testing before I release it on the app. Car coming, hang on. I'm going to try and talk you through a few things. This is the main screen, so you've got the volts, you've got the amps, you've got the watts, you've got the ampere hour remaining, you've got the uh, the FET temperature and also the time running. And on here you've got your usual settings screen. And then here we've got the GPS logs, you can force a GPS start or it just automatically starts logging. This gives you the maximum speed, the minimum voltage, maximum current, the maximum wattage and everything else. This one here is just uh, when you're charging it will give you all the, the battery voltages and everything else, all the cell voltages. This one here is that horrible screen that I don't like, that you can turn the power on, the power off, you can zero the current it doesn't actually zero the current, it zeroes the ampere hours that you've got so when you go out for a run and then you come back you press the zero and that me yeah, oh, I can't explain it, bollocks don't care um, you've got a balanced cells thing that you can do, you can reboot it, you can factory reset it which I really don't like that feature there but it's still got to be there and up here we've got the app settings for the GPS so you can start it auto tracking uh, when trigger one is reached which is the amps so when the amps go above 10 amps on this you can set that to whatever you want it'll start tri it'll trigger and then there's a second trigger for the time so if it goes over 10 amps for one second it'll start logging after 600 seconds which is 10 minutes it'll stop, stop logging there's your speed display units and then the interval between the logs in seconds so I've got mine set to 1 and then on here when you've stopped when you've finished uh, your run and it stops logging there's a map appears here so you can actually see you can get a list of all the trips that you've been on and then you can see exactly where you've been and, and what the current is it only shows you the current at the minute but it shows you all the details of where you've been now all of this can be exported to a PC I'm going to move on all of that can be exported to a PC and I think it's an RDF is it an RDF? I think it's an RDF file so all you do is you rename it to a CSV and then you can export it into Excel you can do an overlay in race render so as you can um, you can put it all on screen still a few tweaks to be done like the speed needs to be on the main screen but uh, I don't know if that's a major thing because you don't look at your speed generally unless your phone's right in front of you of course so I'm just doing the final uh, the final beta test before I do my release but whether it's going to happen or not I don't know because I've never actually do <laughs> I've only ever released an app I've never done an update to an app so I don't know oh god this road so I don't know how you actually release an update to an app yet I've got to work that out uh, there was going to be a Russian version and I had somebody in Russia actually translate it but unfortunately it hasn't worked out right and I don't know why it's not worked anyway the other thing I want to talk about is the is the comments that I'm getting now the video that I posted that said who is Tony um, I did it for a laugh and I thought you know might get a couple of comments I didn't expect the amount of response that I actually got it was absolutely fantastic and I'm going the comments that I got on that video were quite moving really the amount of people who were well wishes and, and, and uh, it's just overwhelming it absolutely is overwhelming I did that video as um, a sort of an explanation of things because people were asking the question of 
Why do I keep coming back to watch your videos? Is it because you don't talk bullshit or you don't, you tell it how it is or it's all honest and you're sincere and everything? And I, and I thought, well, it's about time that I explained to the world what what I think it was. Uh, I didn't do it to get any response. I never thought I'd get any comments whatsoever, but within an hour I had some ridiculous amount of comments and every single one was a well-wisher. There was none none of these it's because you're still alive and I feel sorry for all you way breaks so I thank you I thank every single one of you from the bottom of my heart and I apologize that I haven't managed to reply to every one of them but the comments on my videos are getting a bit stupid I don't mean the content of them, I mean the amount that I'm getting now is just getting unmanageable. I have got um, something going on in my life at the minute which is a, a very, very important thing and there's only a couple of people who actually know about it. My whole outlook on life has now changed drastically, and I mean drastically. I'm now I've got an opinion or I've got an attitude of I need to succeed, I need to I need to do something to push myself even further than I have before and I mean this was a this thing was a, a massive push for me to get it done and I really need to push myself the furthest I've actually gone ever. So I am now determined to build the world's fastest electric bike regardless of what it takes. I'm not on about acceleration, I'm on about top end. I really do, it's just something I need to do for myself. So with this I've got uh, the new build, I'm thinking of upping the voltage even more past 84 volts, but it's going to be running at 350 amps. At 84 volts, 350 amps is about 29 kilowatts I think it is, which is around about 30, was it 35 horsepower? On a bike that weighs less than 40 kilo, obviously that's not la laden with me on top. I don't know what that makes the power to weight ratio with a big fat git like me. I've <laughs> got a clue. So I've got that coming. Um, I've got another project in the pipeline which I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I've always wanted to do an Iron Man suit. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't laugh because I've, I did all the development uh, without the parts I did, I did everything and it looked like it was going to be okay but I fell short on money so I am still looking at it but whether it's going to be feasible or not I don't know uh, the flight controller was a was a massive thing that I had to get sorted and I got all that done and everything and I'm going to turn left here because I can it's a bit cold today so the Iron Man suit may be coming, I'm not sure yet. Uh, yeah, it took about bloody dangerous. Speaking of madness, uh, I'm, ter I'm terrified of heights. Absolutely petrified of heights. Anything over 10 foot and my head starts going. So I'm doing a, a tandem skydive next weekend with somebody who's very special to me. Um, I've done one before. But I swore I'd do it again because it scared the living Jesus out of me. Oh my God, did I squeal like a pig all the way down. So I may be videoing it, I don't know yet. And I don't know what the legalities are, well not legalities, I don't, know, I don't know what the rules are with regard to putting a GoPro on you, but I'm gonna do my best to actually video it so I can jump out of the plane and you can hear me scream. Hey, they're finally doing the road. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Oh, finally. After months and months of painful. Oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell, that knee threw me off. Oh, it's nice of you to say there's a bloody ramp there. You want to try and bunny up a 40 kilo bike? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Uh, VBMS. If I can try and remember what the services are. Um, it now runs on what's called a, uh, as what's called a service. Now, there was a bit of a problem with it because, to start with, when uh, the screen timed out, 
it had stopped, it had stopped processing, so you had to have the screen on all the time. But now it's running as a service, it don't matter if the screen's on or off, it'll just keep going. And then there's an auto login thing uh, function where in case you forget to start it, it automatically starts itself. You've got everything that the cycle analyst actually shows you, apart from the battery cycles, which I never use that anyway. And all this is resettable, so you can reset the maximum of everything. Oh, and the total trip distance. So you can re reset that after every trip, it's up to you, the same as you can on the cycle analyst. But the cycle analyst, I suppose, gives you the uh, the accumulative uh, distance that you've travelled. But hey ho, maybe that'll be added, added, don't know yet. So it is actually probably 90% of what the, the cycle analyst does. The rest of it, I think, is not really needed, like throttle calibration, which you can do in the, in the Sabaton anyway. So it's not really needed. Oh, a bit of totty on a bike. I've got someone following me. I don't like people following me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh yeah, I've got the setting screen. The setting screen is, is uh, basically your power on, power off, zero current. I'm going to try and explain the zero current thing now. If you set the, your battery has got, uh, it's, we'll say with mine it's a 16 ampere hour battery. But I like to get home with my battery off full, which makes it run about 68, 69 volts. You've got your battery capacity and you've got your residual battery capacity, which is a reserve. So if you set your battery capacity to 16 ampere hours and your residual is set to 8 ampere hours, between 16 and 8 is 100%, so it counts down accordingly. Does that make sense? I bloody hope so, because I can't explain it any other way. I'm going to have to head back home because it's going to pee down with rain. When you get back after a run and we've used all of the battery, and when you press the zero, it resets the zero point to that point. So when you then start charging it back up again, and if it puts something like 8 ampere hours in, that's actually 16. Oh my god, I think I've just confused the hell out of everybody. Yeah, it's going to rain. It's going to absolutely piss it down in a minute. Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. You can't see it. I know you can't see it. How far have I been? Ten miles. Oh, it's the bit of totty again, look. You can't beat the sound of a V8. Is that electric or is it just a push bike? Unfortunately, there's only a few people, or the few honoured people, who are actually going to get the app for free. Uh, the rest of you, I've got to draw the line somewhere and you'll have to buy it. Sorry, but you will have to. The people who are on Patreon will get a copy of it free if they want it. It's not a fortune, and it does replace the Cycle Analyst, and the Cycle Analyst is 180 something quid. So it's a very, very small price to pay. And I'm also off, open to um, changes. You know, it's not, the, it's not a case of that's the way that it is and that's the way it's going to be. If there's anything that people want added, I'll, I'll consider it. If it's too much to do, then you can. Going bollocks. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm going the wrong way again. Oh, I've got to go up here. So I'll catch you next time on my travels and after I've done my skydive, if I'm still alive. I should be. Uh, people have died before. Oh, I don't care. Catch you next time. And remember. Life is for living and not for existing. <laughs>